Hi, I'm Gary Boitler for the Water Stores Group, and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to disinfect the plumbing in your entire house. Um, you would want to do that um, whenever you have bacteria present. Now, whenever we install an ultraviolet system, we always um, disinfect the plumbing in the whole house to make sure that if there's any existing bacteria in any of the plumbing fixtures or any of the piping or anything like that, that we get rid of that and give that ultraviolet uh, disinfection system a, a fresh start. So the procedure is actually relatively simple. The first thing you need to do is shut off your water. You may have a ball valve like this on your incoming water line before the ultraviolet uh, pre-filter or um, a gate valve, something like that. Some way of shutting off your water. The next thing you need to do is open up a tap somewhere in the house to, to relieve the pressure. After you've done that, what you need to do is um, open up the housing of the last filter housing before the ultraviolet light. You usually have a, a filter housing wrench like this that you, you use to remove that uh, housing. Once you've removed that, take the filter out and uh, dump the water out of that housing and then put in uh, two to three cups of uh, chlorine bleach. Once you've put that in there, tighten up the housing and uh, open up the, the water flow again. Now, at this time, your ultraviolet light has to be on for this whole process. So make sure that it is before you go any further. The next step is you go the furthest away from, um, from your ultraviolet light that you have something, uh, a water source, be it a tap, toilet, shower, or something like that. And starting with the cold water, you need to run the cold water at that point until you smell chlorine coming from the water from that tap. Now you can also use hot tub test strips like these ones here uh, for checking the chlorine residual. So once you've um, smelled it at the furthest uh, tap away, then you start to move um, back. Um, you start to flush toilets, run the cold water at the shower, run cold water at your washing machine, um, run cold water at your tub, um, your dishwasher, whatever. Everything in the whole house that uses cold water. Also, if you have outside taps that are hooked up after the ultraviolet system, you'll also need to check the chlorine residual at those outside taps. Once you smell it, shut it off and move on to the next one. Once you've done all the cold water taps, then again, you shut off your water and uh, you need to go through the same process. So what you need to do is again, remove this, this uh, filter housing. You need to put two to three cups of bleach inside there, tighten it back up and go back and do all the hot water. Now the hot water, you're gonna let it, have to let it run for a little while at the first tap before you actually smell the chlorine. Because what happens is in your hot water heater, you've got 30 to 40 gallons of hot water in there already, and that's gonna dilute the chlorine. And it may take a while before you get that residual at the first tap. But once you get it at the first hot water tap, then again, work your way back, um, running the, the hot water at the shower, running it at, um, the washing machine, dishwasher, and make sure you keep checking for your chlor chlorine residual at every single um, tap. So once you've finished all that, the next step is you remove the, the housing again, you dump all the water out of there and the chlorine, and, uh, and then hook it back, uh, sorry, put your filter back inside that housing and tighten it back up and uh, repressurize the whole system. And you need it to let it sit for three to four hours. That's the contact time for the chlorine to disinfect everything. Once it's sat for three or four hours, then you can open up the taps, run the water through till you don't smell any chlorine anymore, and, uh, and you're done. You've got all your plumbing disinfected. The ultraviolet light will kill any bacteria coming into the system, and, and you're good to go. If you like what you saw today, please check out our website at waterstoresgroup.com. And again, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.